everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia. I'm a singer and holistic vocal coach and today I will help you and give you some tricks and tips how to memorize a song. So if you want to learn, please keep on watching. So my fellows, um, very important part of being a singer or actor or actress or performer, whatever, you have to learn how to memorize a text. And it's very challenging and it's definitely not easy, but it's very important because in the end of the day it will allow you to have freedom in your performance and to really kind of focus on your technique, on your connection with the audience, with expressing yourself more so you're not stuck on a page. So I'm going to give you really easy steps how I memorize and how I encourage my students to memorize their songs as well. So coming from a classical background, uh, usually you get a song looking like this. Yes, it looks like a bunch of ants and it's very, very, very overwhelming. And from all of this, you get like one phrase, right? But this is just one example. But I just wanna show you, this is a classical piece but of course, when you're singing a regular pop or rock song or jazz song, it comes in a very different um, format. But the steps are pretty much the same. So what you want to do, first of all, is to take the text of the song you're singing, is not to type it and not to copy it, but really write it down with your handwriting and write every single word with your handwriting. It's very important because there's something about when you're writing something with your hand that really kind of um, integrate your whole being and it just helps you to memorize and be more attached to the text you are going to sing. So after you wrote it down, I really encourage you, if you're singing a foreign language, is to translate every single word and do not be lazy. Do not go to just like translate.com and just kind of take a very vague translation that really not kind of, uh, it really goes to the really bottom and really explain the word um, and it's kind of nuanced um, very accurately and just very in a vague way. You really want to want to take the time today. It's so easy. You just you have Google Translate. You take a word and you get a translation of it. And of course, after that, you want to focus on the meaning of it. Now, when I'm talking about meaning, and it's something that I. I was teaching you guys how to learn a song and I'm going to link it down below for you so you can guys get some uh, more about that. But meaning is something very subjective. So for you, it could mean something else. And this is where it's very important for to the mem memorization par uh, process is to be attached to your text, to have a meaning. And the meaning is yours. It's not something you accept on you and you just have to kind of deliver. No. After you understand what the text is saying, you really understand that, then you can put your own personal meaning into it. And you can write it right and uh, write next to it um, and just kind of write what what is the meaning for for me in this in this sentence what image it uh, has for me how this sentence look like for me how this word looks like for me what is the image that I have after you did that I encourage you to rewrite it in a very clean way because very important for the brain to remember it to the best is minimize it so it's not going to be overwhelmed and the mind and our brain likes when we group things so you want to take uh, the first section if the first section of the song is a, if it's a verse just write down the verse and put a different and kind of put a box and use a certain color for that. Then another box with a certain color, a different color. And then for the second verse, you're going to put a different color. And the chorus, you put it in a different color. And when something is repeating, you're going to use the same color. So you're going to see and you had a very kind of clear understanding where it repeats and how it looks like. So you 
not only have the meaning aspect of it, you not only into in, in, intellectually understand what it says, but also you have a very visual um, attachment to the text. And you're really visualizing the color, the images that comes with the words. And you're just going to learn it section by section. So you're going to go take one, the first section, and just going to repeat it and repeat it. Repeat it and repeat it. After you feel you're good with that, then you're going to add the second section to the first section. And then so on and so on and so on. So after you feel good with every section, you just keep adding into that the previous section until you feel you got that. Now, another very quick tip from you guys is a lot of people like to listen to the certain kind of music and our song and just have that all repeat. Um, and it's great, but the problem is if you're going to use a singer or somebody else singing the song, you're gonna it's just gonna happen automatically you're gonna absorb all the nuances he or she's doing and you really want to tr stay true to yourself and be the artist and really kind of expressing the song through you so what I recommend to do is to go to a good pianist or somebody that you can accompany you uh, or just you can sing a cappella, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but just sing in the right pitch as most accurately as you can and record that and hear that and listen to it all over again every single time that you have and just listen to it. And this is what I do when I need to learn a part. Now, you have to do it frequently. Now, it's not something, if you want to learn it and know it um, really well and not freak out on the day off and say, oh my God, I'm not sure I really have it. You really want to feel it's part of you is to really go through it frequently as possible. And I really recommend to do it really like three times a day. When you wake up, in the middle of the day and right before you go to sleep. Um, that's really good time for you. Those three times are really good for you because right when you wake up, your mind is so fresh throughout the day. You just go and repeat that and right before you go to sleep. Something about that, um, right before you're going to sleep, it just sinks in so much easier. So I hope guys I help you to kind of memorize your song and I would love for you to click the uh, like button if you find this uh, video helpful and comment below with your favorite tip and if you have a better idea how to memorize a song I would love for you to share it and please come say hi to me on my social media my Facebook my Instagram my Twitter subscribe because without your support I cannot do those videos and I would love to do them for you more and I will definitely see you on my next video so have a beautiful and musical week Bye.